Righto Chums, it's Survivor Series, A Block action to begin with. A reminder of the participants in the A Block. I'm not going to have enough time to read them all, and there it is. Okay, so, coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky, the opening match of the second round of the A Block. William Regal from England taken on USA's Big E, and Regal got stuck straight into Big E with some aggression, using the furniture around the ring, knocking his head about, and then beginning to go to work on that left arm of Big E's and several moves of the many in Regal's arsenal, helping toward that mission statement. Big E fights back, shows toughness, shows aggression in his comeback. The splash, a troublesome situation for the Englishman, but he kicks out. And Biggie goes for the big ending, only for Regal to squirm out of the way and grass cut Biggie. Goes along and hits the Regal Plex for another close pin there. Running knee, clocks Biggie once again, and then that left arm, the shoulder's hooked. And pulling back on the chin leaves Biggie no choice but to submit. And uh, he had to be helped from the ring after this one. Damage done to that left arm in particular. But moving along to the second match, The Rock taking on Shelton Benjamin. Shelton with uh, good defense early until the DDT. Many would have thought this was something of a foregone conclusion, but there was plenty of fight in Shelton Benjamin. He may not have the most personality, particularly when he's in the ring with someone like The Rock, but plenty of skill. And he does come back with a series of suplexes here, putting The Rock maybe not in trouble, but... <laughs> and then he falls flat in his face. So The Rock begins something of a comeback. Strings together some moves. Silky Smooth is the most electrifying man in the sport, calls Shelton Benjamin into the ring once he rolls out to have a rest. Spine buster, people's elbow, all the showboating, bit of a good look at the referee's ass there. That's uh, fantastic camera work from the WWE production team. People's elbow lands the cover, and we have the winner we all expected, The Rock. Maximum points so far in the tournament. We will take a look at the points tally in the A block once we've uh, gone through the round two matches here. The third of which, Drew McIntyre. A bit of an upset against Big E in the opener, so looking for his first points in the tournament, as is HBK, Shawn Michaels. And this was a fantastic match between these two. Shawn Michaels here stringing together some moves, goes for the elbow drop and lands it. And this would be, spoiler alert, one of many close pin attempts. Michaels goes for the switch in music, but it's ducked. And a neck breaker counter. Air raid crash, or whatever Drew McIntyre calls it. That could be the finish. But I just told you there's a bunch of close finishes, so no, it's not. McIntyre goes for his running knee that I always forget his name of. But Michaels misses that. They both miss their finishes. Until this unbelievable, huge overhead suplex. Belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And this time, the claymore kick, that's what it's called, does connect. And is this another one of the close ones? Nah. Drew McIntyre wins. Fantastic match, that one. One of the uh, early highlights of the tournament. Drew McIntyre picking up his first points in this year's Survivor Series. And a rather long celebration. Okay, the final match was Razor Ramon, the Intercontinental Champion. A worthy main event here, taking on World Champion, the Light Heavyweight Champion, AJ Styles. No surprise at this Champion versus Champion clash would be the main event. And the Survivor Series is uh, one of the unique opportunities where we get to see 
these type of champion versus champion matches. And you see there a difference in the way that they compete. Razor Ramon using that brute force, whereas AJ Styles with more technique. Though this was a rather technical match. Razor Ramon uh, ooh, hitting the elbow that I have to come up with a name for. Switch Blade? I think I might have actually called it Switch Blade in one of the other videos. Which I know is the name of another move, but that guy isn't in this game. Anyway, it's a cool name. 450! And then he goes for the phenomenal forearm, but that's dodged. And Razor goes straight to his finish. The Razor's Edge. The thing about this match was it seemed AJ was uh, quicker, of course. But quicker to moves, like he, he was able to land more of his moves. But when Razor got there, he tried to go for the Razor's Edge again there and it was countered. Um, Razor had the more powerful moves. Though, this is a powerful move of AJ Styles. A very unique one. The Styles Clash, that connects. And after all Razor's been through in this fantastic match, that keeps him down. The world champion wins over the intercontinental champion. That was one of the best rounds of action. Well, actually, I mean, there's only been two rounds, I guess. But I think that one will be one we come back to. Fantastic matches all round in the A block. So, let's have a look at the points tally. We've got rankings now as well. So the Rock and Regal on top with four. Styles and Big E with two. As is McIntyre and Ramon. Uh, Michaels and Benjamin yet to get off the mark. And that's A block. B block time. Do I have time to read them? Cesaro, Dexter, Diesel, Cena, Keith, Randy, Nakamura, Warrior. We did it. We did it, everyone. That's B block. Let's get started with it. It comes to you from Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, Keith Lee kicking us off again. And I think he pretty much often will. Uh, being kind of the um, lowest ranked member of this block. Whereas Cesaro, new to the company, fresh from the European competition, uh, having quite a, a good start to his tournament, already picking up a win over another international star, Nakamura. Look at the agility of the super heavyweight here, Keith Lee. Unbelievable standing Moonsault goes here for the pounce, knocking Cesaro flying, real pumped up about it. There's something missing there. Uh, Cesaro obviously coming back into the match, showing his incredible strength, flinging Keith Lee around like it's nothing. And didn't quite get all of that one, so he went for the neutralizer again was maybe just able to connect his hands around the large buttocks of Keith Lee and uh, picks up the win in any case. Maximum points for Cesaro, the European superstar. Next up is Dexter Loomis taking on Nakamura, uh, who faced Cesaro in the first round. Gets stuck straight into Dexter Loomis here. Fantastic striker, but also a grappler. You can see there with the German suplex and the bridge. Dexter Loomis comes back and wants some applause for the only move he's landed in the match so far. He gets a little more aggressive from that point. And uh, after beating Nakamura down, goes for his submission move. That head and arm. It's kind of a head and arm choke. But uh, Nakamura fights out of it, goes back to his strategy of kicking the stuffing out of his opponent. That seems to be doing the trick. Nice spinning side slam there, and then goes to line up the Kinshasa, only for Loomis to dodge it and go back to what I'm going to keep calling the head and arm choke. Well, that one is. He's, yeah, well, anyway, Nakamura fights out of it. That one looks slightly different to his other one. But it's dangerous in any case. And Nakamura had to kick Loomis away. He does now land the Kinshasa. And that should be it. Nakamura does pick up his first points of the tournament. 
He's on his way in his Survivor Series debut. Diesel. Big D. He's taken on Randy Orton. What a clash of superstars this is, and it's not even the main event. Diesel and Randy Orton, two villainous professionals, but um, all of those devious tactics might uh, cancel each other out in this occasion. Orton getting somewhere with those suplexes until these are just kind of fought his way out of them. Orton's certainly the more refined wrestler of the two, but bam, that's all you need to do. Kick him in the head. That's how you win a wrestling match. Diesel does have some suplexes in his arsenal. There's one from a great height. Starts throwing hands. Does whatever that is. Giving him a pretty aggressive shoulder rub. Flings him around the ring. Um, choke slam. The power of Big Daddy Cool on display. And uh, a big ass for just about anyone. Going for the powerbomb there, the jackknife, but Orton saw it coming. Fights back. Has Diesel down and hurt. And then hits the RKO. Diesel not getting up from that one. Perfect cutter to end the match and Orton your winner probably not one of the better matches but you know they're both stars it's a big deal you care because they're handsome that's what it is it's because they're handsome all right so the main event the B block's got another they've also got a uh, champion versus champion main event the NWA national champion against the United States champion of the WWE. Warrior made the mistake of trying to throw hands with Cena at the start of the match, though he was able to gain a, an advantage eventually. This uh, is an interesting contest in that uh, Warrior is certainly more seasoned, but um, it's, it's, it's definitely a styles clash between them. Um, but I think there's probably people would draw a lot of comparisons between a, a young Warrior and um, this Cena here. Cena tries to um, go for his Comeback moves, the shoulder tackles. It didn't work the first time. It's worked the second time. And after putting Warrior down, he begins to showboating. Five knuckle shuffle, connects. He lifts Warrior up and tosses him over for the AA. And we have a winner. The WWE United States Champion beats the NWA United States Champion. There he is. Top of the block, John Cena. Although it hasn't really shaken out too much yet. We can have a look here at the rankings, at the results, at everything you want to see. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a good one.